On 1 January, the New Horizons spacecraft will visit Ultima Thule, a binary system well beyond the orbit of Pluto. It will be the first flyby of an object in the Kuiper belt. On 17 January, SpaceX will launch a Dragon to dock with the International Space Station as a test. If the mission is successful, SpaceX will start sending regular crew missions to the space station. Inside, NASA's mission to Mars will start drilling into the surface. Sensitive instruments will check the temperature and measure seismic activity. Later in the year, Boeing will launch its own crew module for manned missions to the space station called the CST-100 Starliner. Blue Origin also plans to send its own employees into a suborbital manned spaceflight on board the new Shepard vehicle. The SpaceX, Blue Origin and Boeing launches will usher in an era of private manned spaceflight. Look out for ISRO's test flight of the small satellite launch vehicle or the SSLV in the middle of the year. This is a small rocket meant for launching microsatellites and nanosatellites. ISRO will also be launching the Chandrayaan-2 mission, its second mission to the moon. There are three components to the mission, an orbiter, a soft lander and a rover. China will also be exploring the moon with the Chang'e 4 mission. It will execute a soft landing on the far side of the moon. There will also be an attempt to grow silkworm larvae on the moon. Finally, in December, JAXA's Hayabusa 2 will collect a sample from the asteroid Ryugu. The spacecraft is scheduled to start the return journey to Earth in December 2019.